Service Teardown HP ProBook X360 435G7 Notebook PC How to Replace the Base Enclosure Removal Loosen the seven captive P1 Phillips head screws that secure the base enclosure to the top cover. Starting at the hinge, carefully separate the rear, left, and right edges of the base enclosure from the top cover. Slide the base enclosure toward the rear of the unit to remove the tabs on the front edge from the cutouts in the top cover and remove. Replacement. Tow the tabs on the front edge of the base enclosure into the slots on the top cover and place it into position on the top cover. Apply pressure along the edges to reattach the base enclosure to the top cover. Tighten the seven captive P1 Phillips head screws that secure the base enclosure to the top cover. How to replace the battery. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure. Warning, to avoid personal injury and damage to the product, use extreme care not to puncture, twist, or crack the battery. An internal puncture or rupture to the battery has the potential to cause a short, which may result in a thermal event. Removal. Loosen the four captive P1 Phillips head screws that secure the battery to the top cover. Lift the rear edge of the battery up and off of its alignment pins and slide its tabs out of the cutouts on the top cover. Remove the battery. Replacement. Slide the battery tabs into the cutouts on the top cover and place it onto its alignment pins on the top cover. Tighten the four captive P1 Phillips head screws that secure the battery to the top cover. How to replace the memory module. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure and battery. Removal. Pull the tab on the memory module shield to remove the shield from the system board. Push both arms outward simultaneously to release the memory module to the spring tension position. Grasp the memory module by the edges and pull gently to remove it. Replacement. Align the notch in the memory module with the key in the memory module slot on the system board. At an angle, Gently insert the memory module into its slot on the system board. Press the memory module down to latch the arms. Place the memory module shield into its retention clips on the system board and press down along its edges to secure the shield to the system board. How to replace the M.2 solid state drive. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure and battery. Removal. Carefully separate the M.2 solid state drive shield from its retention clips on the system board and remove. Remove the P1 Phillips head screw that secures the M.2 solid state drive to the system board. Grasp the M.2 solid state drive by the edges and pull gently to remove it. Replacement. Align the notch in the M.2 solid state drive with the key in the M.2 solid state drive slot on the system board. Gently insert the M.2 solid state drive into its slot on the system board. Replace the P1 Phillips head screw that secures the M.2 solid state drive to the system board. Place the M.2 solid state drive shield into its retention clips on the system board and press down along its edges to secure it to the system board. How to replace the wireless LAN module. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure and battery. Removal. Caution. Use care when disconnecting the wireless antenna cables from the wireless module. A damaged cable or connector can degrade notebook performance. Carefully disconnect the wireless antenna cables from the wireless LAN module by grasping the connectors with a small pair of needle nose pliers or tweezers. Remove the P1 Phillips head screw that secures the wireless LAN module to the system board. Grasp the wireless LAN module by the edges and pull gently to remove it. 
Replacement. Align the notch in the wireless LAN module with the key in the wireless LAN module slot on the system board. Gently insert the wireless LAN module into its slot on the system board. Replace the P1 Phillips head screw that secures the wireless LAN module to the system board. Carefully reconnect the wireless antenna cables to the wireless LAN module. Caution! Use care when connecting the wireless antenna cables to the wireless module. A damaged cable or connector can degrade notebook performance. How to replace the I.O. bracket Before you begin, remove the base enclosure and battery. Removal Remove the three P1 Phillips head screws that secure the I.O. bracket to the system board. Remove the I.O. bracket. Replacement Place the I.O. bracket on the system board. Replace the three P1 Phillips head screws that secure the I.O. bracket to the system board. How to replace the touchpad. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure and battery. Removal. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the touchpad ZIF connector and disconnect the touchpad ribbon cable from the touchpad. Using minimal force, Lift the locking bar up on the keyboard ZIF connector and disconnect the keyboard ribbon cable from the system board. Remove the 1P0 and 5P1 Phillips head screws that secure the touchpad to the top cover. Lift the touchpad off of the alignment pins on the top cover and remove. Replacement. Place the touchpad on the alignment pins on the top cover. Replace the 1P0 and 5P1 Phillips head screws that secure the touchpad to the top cover. Insert the keyboard ribbon cable into its ZIF connector on the system board and press the locking bar down to lock the cable into place. Insert the touchpad ribbon cable into its ZIF connector on the touchpad and press the locking bar down to lock the cable into place. How to replace the RTC battery. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure and battery. Removal. Disconnect the RTC battery cable from its connector on the system board and remove it from the retention tab on the top cover. Loosen the RTC battery from the adhesive that secures it to the top cover. Remove the RTC battery. Replacement. Place the RTC battery in position on the top cover. Press down on the RTC battery to adhere it to the top cover. Reconnect the RTC battery cable to its connector on the system board. And route it around the retention tab on the top cover. How to replace the system fan. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure and battery. Removal. Disconnect the system fan cable from its connector on the system board. Remove the three P1 Phillips head screws that secure the system fan to the system board. Remove the system fan. Replacement. Place the system fan in position over its screw holes. Important. Take care not to pinch the foam and mylar shielding between the system fan and heatsink. Replace the three P1 Phillips head screws that secure the system fan to the system board. Reconnect the system fan cable to its connector on the system board. How to replace the heatsink. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure and battery. Removal. In numerical order, loosen the four captive P1 Phillips head screws that secure the heat sink to the system board. Note, due to the adhesive quality of the thermal grease and thermal pads located between the heat sink and processor components, it may be necessary to move the heat sink from side to side to detach it from the system board. Lift the heat sink off of the system board and remove. Replacement. Note, before replacing the heatsink, the thermal grease should be replaced. 
The thermal grease should be replaced every time the heat sink is removed. Note, the heat sink and processor shown in this part of the procedure are not from this notebook, but the process of cleaning and applying the thermal grease is identical. Important, use alcohol and a soft cloth or an alcohol swab to clean all thermal grease off of the heat sink and processor. Then use the thermal grease applicator to apply thermal grease to the processor. Align the screw holes on the heat sink with the standoffs on the system board and place the heat sink into position. In numerical order, Tighten the four captive P1 Phillips head screws that secure the heat sink to the system board. How to replace the display panel assembly. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure and battery. Removal. Disconnect the primary webcam cable from its connector on the system board. Remove the primary webcam cable from the routing channel on the top cover. Disconnect the display panel cable from its connector on the system board. Remove the display panel cable from the routing channel on the top cover. Carefully disconnect the wireless antenna cables from the wireless LAN module by grasping the connectors with a small pair of needle nose pliers or tweezers. Caution! Use care when disconnecting the wireless antenna cables from the wireless module. A damaged cable or connector can degrade notebook performance. Remove the wireless antenna cables from the routing channel on the top cover. Open the display panel assembly approximately 270 degrees. Remove the four P1 Phillips head screws that secure the left hinge to the top cover. Remove the one smaller and three larger P1 Phillips head screws that secure the right hinge to the top cover. Slide the display panel assembly hinges out from under the rear edge of the top cover and remove. Replacement. Tow the display panel assembly under the rear edge of the top cover. Replace the one smaller and three larger P1 Phillips head screws that secure the right hinge to the top cover. Replace the four P1 Phillips head screws that secure the left hinge to the top cover. Route the wireless antenna cables into the routing channel on the top cover. Carefully reconnect the wireless antenna cables to the wireless LAN module. Caution. Use care when connecting the wireless antenna cables to the wireless module. A damaged cable or connector can degrade notebook performance. Route the display panel cable into the routing channel on the top cover. Connect the display panel cable to its connector on the system board. Route the primary webcam cable into the routing channel on the top cover. Connect the primary webcam cable to its connector on the system board. How to replace the system board. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure, battery, memory modules, M.2 solid state drive, wireless LAN module, I.O. bracket, and system fan. Removal. Important. If you are not replacing the system board, do not disconnect the RTC battery. Loosen the RTC battery from the adhesive that secures it to the top cover. Remove the following cables from their connectors on the system board. Fingerprint reader ribbon cable. Backlight ribbon cable. Keyboard ribbon cable.
touchpad ribbon cable. Secondary webcam ribbon cable. Display panel cable. Speaker cable. Main webcam cable. DC in connector cable. Remove the two P1 Phillips head screws that secure the USB C bracket to the top cover. Remove the five P1 Phillips head screws that secure the system board to the top cover. Carefully lift the right edge of the system board and slide the USB C bracket off the system board. Guide the external connectors out of the cutouts in the top cover and remove the system board. Replacement. Carefully tow the external connectors on the system board into the cutouts in the top cover. and slide the USB-C bracket onto the system board. Lower the system board into position on the top cover. Caution! Take care not to trap any of the cables between the system board and top cover. Replace the five P1 Phillips head screws that secure the system board to the top cover. Replace the two P1 Phillips head screws that secure the USB-C bracket to the top cover. Reconnect the following cables to their connectors on the system board. DC in connector cable. Main webcam cable. Speaker cable. Display panel cable. Secondary webcam ribbon cable. Touchpad ribbon cable. Keyboard ribbon cable. Backlight ribbon cable. Fingerprint reader ribbon cable. Place the RTC battery in position on the top cover. Press down on the RTC battery to adhere it to the top cover. Important! After a system board replacement, be sure to complete post-installation tasks as required that may include Verifying functionality of the notebook. Updating the BIOS. Updating DMI and other settings. How to replace the speaker assembly. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure, battery, memory modules, M.2 solid state drive, wireless LAN module, I.O. bracket, system fan, and system board. Removal. Remove the P1 Phillips broadhead screw that secures the speaker assembly to the top cover. Remove the speaker assembly. Replacement. Place the speaker assembly onto its alignment pins on the top cover. Replace the P1 Phillips broadhead screw that secures the speaker assembly to the top cover. How to replace the DC in connector. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure, battery, memory modules, M.2 solid state drive, wireless LAN module, I.O. bracket, system fan, heat sink, and system board. Removal. 
Remove the one smaller and three larger P1 Phillips head screws that secure the right hinge to the top cover. Open the right hinge. Lift the DC in connector out of its cradle on the top cover and remove. Replacement. Place the DC in connector in its cradle on the top cover. Close the right hinge. Replace the one smaller and three larger P1 Phillips head screws that secure the right hinge to the top cover. How to replace the top cover with keyboard. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure, battery, memory modules, M.2 solid state drive, wireless LAN module, I.O. bracket, touchpad, fingerprint reader, webcam, system fan, display panel assembly, system board, speaker assembly, and DC in connector. Removal. Remove the top cover with keyboard. Replacement. Replace the top cover with keyboard. 